Rota and Icar E2. Okay, I can do that. Colorful cock. What? Alright. So I'm gonna go check the map one more time. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna recite all of them. This is an important thing to me. Egbert, Rhoda, Pippi, there's always Tortimer, Vladimir, um, shit, uh, screw it, it's not worth it, Vladimir, rolled, 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 Bessie, Bessie and rolled, alright, I'm gonna make an acronym, BR, Okay, none of them start with vowels, that's great. I can't make an acronym. Well, there's that. Um Brep Brepperv. Okay, cool. Bessie Rhoda Egbert Pippi The other one that starts with R Rolled Is that it? Vladimir, sorry, my bad. Ripperv. Rolf Rota. Okay, cool. Uh, and this goes to Rota and E2. Let's do this shit. <laughs> hey, Vladimir. Jerk ass. I believe I'm in the two acres right now. No, I'm in the one acres. Means I should go over here. Whenever the screen pauses to catch up with you, that means you're entering a new acre. So you see this little boundary right here, and then it has to pan over so I can move again. That that indicates I'm moving to a new acre. It works vertically and horizontally. Um, Rota. I don't talk too much. Shut up. I think she's one of the snooty types. Each villager has their own unique personality. It's snooty, smug, uchi, lazy, normal. Cranky, bunch of other ones. But yeah, usually they all reside under something. Oh, I got a G logo? Are you kidding me, dude? That's so awesome. The G logo is like the um the GameCube logo. For those of you that have had GameCubes, um whenever you start it up, it has a little block thing. Jesus Christ, dude. She's explaining how to move furniture. Like, I don't know, bitch, dude. They should make it an option. It's like it's like, do you know your way around this game? And you say, like, yes, and they won't have to fill your ass up with tutorials. Jesus, dude. Um, so it's good to have one person, at least, near my house. Now, he's kind of a jerk, but, I mean, at least he's there. Vladimir. He's the type of person that I really want to move out, because he's just really negative. 230 pills. Okay, yes! Finally! This is when he gives you a map, and things get a whole lot easier and quicker and more efficient. I'm gonna just check really quick how long I've been recording. 27 minutes. Alright. <clears throat> Some copy for a dirt. What? Who says that? Bessie, okay. Fine, whatever. Okay. Oh, I forgot to throw this out there. I'm not going to be doing any time tra- oh, sorry. I will be doing some time traveling in this game, but not for the sake of, like, um, cheating. Like, for example, the only reason I'm ever going to use it is if, like, I'm waiting on a letter and I really want it, um, or I get an upgrade to my house and I really want to see what it's about. Like, if I really want to see what it- what, like, what my new house looks like whenever I get an upgrade, which is what happens when you pay off your debts. Um... Let's just write some crap because I'm supposed to have an advertisement. Alright. So, that should be good enough. And that's going straight to Bessie. I'm gonna figure out where the fuck this post office is, dude. Like, I know where it is, I just... Alright, that's such a strange location for a bridge. Um, it's like, you have to, like, run around like half the coast of the river just to use it okay here it is Ooh, I gotta use my uh I had to do my uh, special town melody I usually do Saria's song from Zelda 
You know, you've heard it somewhere. Nope. I'm done here, bitch. Alright. I'll do it now. Just like the letter, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, speed this up and then show you when I'm done. Alright, sounds good to me. Keep it. Um, you can't really... Sorry. You can't really fit, um, very long melodies, as you can see. I couldn't even do the whole, like, the first, uh, three, no the first three notes. There's like, da 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 You can't put the beginning, I just had to put the end of it, but... Oh, well. Uh, at least I remember the notes, so I was able to do it pretty quickly. Um, so I mailed that shit. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Alrighty. Oh, fuck you, man. I have to run across that dumbass bridge. You're probably the one that placed it there, too. Alright, cool. So he apparently doesn't have a package ready, and all that means is that I have to talk to somebody and ask if they need help, and hopefully they say they don't need help. Um, because the person I'm gonna go to is Vladimir, and he's an asshole. And also because that would speed things up quite a bit. What was that supposed to mean? Yes! Thank you for having nothing to do. That makes it, like, 50 times quicker. Because usually, when somebody does have something to do, I have to pick up something from somebody. By the time I go to that somebody, they've already given that something something to somebody. And then I have to go to that somebody, somebody who has to fuck a duck in the asshole. And then just make Half-Life 3 and then I have to fucking wait and all that and it takes forever and um basically you just have to talk to one person if they need help and hopefully they don't because that um still means that it's go time for Tom Nook to give me a new uh, job so I have to give this uh, uh pubic hair thing to what did I say pubic hair? carpet to Pippi um isn't he like the stupidly placed one yeah he is uh, um, I guess I'll do a weird, like, U-turn thing. This bridge. God damn it. I hope there's a way to add a bridge. I, I heard there was. In New Leaf, people just fucking having all the fun they want and all the freedom they want in New Leaf get to place as many, uh, I think three actually. They get to have three bridges in their town. They get to determine what type it is and where they want to put it. So fucking New Leaf people are spoiled. Like, me included, because I played New Leaf for a, a, quite a while, and I'm still doing it occasionally. Um, but sometimes you just have to go back to the original, because this game is so freaking amazing. Mostly due to um, nostalgic value, but I mean, at the same time, it's still a great design, it's a greatly designed game. Uh, he's going to give me his old carpet. wonder if it's any good. I mean, you saw my house when I first picked it out, it's basically a piece of shit. Okay. Okay, man. You said quite enough. Talking your ass off, dude. But I mean, dialogue in this game is also part of the experience of it. It's kind of what makes this game pretty awesome. Just like interaction and how you can uh, develop a friendship with villagers, which makes it kind of terrible when uh, a, a villager that you really like moves out or at least like wants to move out. Uh, prime example is in my very first GameCube town that I ever played, which I think is the file that I maintained the longest. I think I had it running for like three years before anything happened to it. Um, it was a character named Tad. He was a frog, and he thinks I'm gonna fucking like kill somebody with his axe. Um, there's a frog named Tad, and he was he was the nicest guy. He had the coolest house, coolest like interior. I gotta go inside one of these people's. I'm gonna go inside fucking Putin's house. Vladimir, y you know, same thing. Okay, his house looks like. Oh, it's the fart chair. He has a fart chair. <laughs> That's awesome. Turn up your volume if you can't hear that. That's funny. He's got a ha He's got a hammock. Neato. It's got a, what kind of house is this? This is dumb as shit. Like, that is the dumbest variety of shit I've ever seen. 
Wow, I... Fuck, fuck you, dude. Alright, um... Looks like a goddamn strawberry anyway. Um... Where's this cow? I think this is Rota. No, it's rolled, actually. Um, Bessie is somewhere, basically. For Bessie. Cool. Good shit. <laughs> it looks so depressed. Um... Bessie. What up? Yeah, I'm gonna get you an axe. Don't fucking kill me, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It already came back to her. Man, I usually it takes a day for mail to send. Okay. <laughs> Come to Nooks right now, goddammit. I'm currently being enslaved by some strange bear who gave me a tiny shelter. Oh, that's great. Well, it's not, because that's terrifying. Auschwitz is terrible, but, you know. And she's, like, appreciating my letter. Okay. Okay. I think you've said quite enough. Thank you. Um, okay. So this bridge is in an okay location. It'd be better if it was probably higher, closer to, um, Egbert's house. Nothing, I was just figuring out your name and shit. If it was like right here-ish, that would have been ideal. It's pretty close to the ocean, but... Oh, well, now the other bridge, on the other hand, is just... What the fuck, dude? Like, so many better places you could add it. Uh, this is not a bad town. Not that bad, at least. I mean, I hope more people move into the upper level. I think here is pretty evenly distributed, but... I've got fucking Putin here. And then... Um... Don't Pippi is his name? He's like barely even on the top level level two, so whatever. I'll resolve that later. Hopefully I can open up some space for more people to move into. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last job that he'll make you do, which is awesome. Alright. <clears throat> I have to make an advertisement for a shop on here. I'm gonna put asshole because I dedicated so much energy into Bessie's letter. I'm gonna go ahead and just not put any effort into this. And just write asshole because he doesn't care what you write as long as you write something. That's what triggers him to make it. Yep, you bet I did. Yes, you're all done. Great, cool. I'm not a slave anymore. You know what that means. Oh shit, he's still gotta explain everything in the world. Okay, so basically all the work that I just did earned me about 1400 leaves me about 17400 left on my debt. And it's up to me to pay off that debt and every single debt after this, because there are, there's more than just one debt. And you'll see how that all goes down if you don't know already. But, um, yeah, that's that's how everything's gonna go, and that's basically what he's talking about. Um, what was I gonna say? Now that my slave work is done, I think I'm gonna finally change out of this piece of... Oh gonna play the cutscene. I'm finally done working, I'm free. Okay. Um. What? Wait. You kidding me? It's actually called a bad plaid shirt? Okay, it's not that bad. It just clashes the shit out of everything else. I mean, with the right other clothes, I mean, I bet it would look alright. Um, and nearly, if you get to change your shoes and socks and everything, right now I think I've got, like, green socks or something. Never really noticed. I've got, like, shorts in winter. I'm out of my goddamn mind. Um, so that's it for my slave work. I'm totally done working for him, and now it's up to me to find ways to make money. Which, I do have a G-Logal, and before I sell it, because I'm going to need to make some money first to... You gotta spend some money to... You gotta... Fuck. Yeah. You gotta... How does this say... You know what? Just fuck everything. Here's here's what I was going to say. This is the G-Logal. Of course, it's backwards. Um... I'm sure you all recognize this. It's the GameCube logo, and if you never noticed, that actually is in the shape of a G, like, until this game, and I saw that it was called the G logo, I did not know 
that that formed a G. I didn't pay attention. I thought it was just making the shape of the GameCube or something. So that's cool. But yeah, I gotta I gotta sell my stuff. I gotta make some money to spend. I guess that saying doesn't really apply here. That's why I'm having trouble with it. But I'm not gonna sell my work uniform because it's rare and you can't really get it again. Um, looks like Rhoda or whatever. Um, whoever I delivered the carpet to gave me the tatami floor. Which I'm not really a big fan of, and either way I'm going to have to get rid of it anyway. If I want to make enough money to get something that will make money for me. Well, not for me, but you know what I mean. I'm going to need to get a shovel. Because I'm going to need to dig up holes and stuff, find fossils, find gyroids, and sell that. Oh, shit. Totally just rejected an accident. Alright. I will buy it. This is going to wrap up my episode here, so. Ah, oh, Jesus. The innovations that they made in New Leaf are just unforgettable. <laughs> they save so much time. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can afford that, but that's a nice shirt. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk about this fucking shirt. Get out of my face. Some red tie-dye. How much is it? Oh, damn it. I gotta try it on to figure that out. Three eighty. All right, not bad. Um. No, I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I got, I gotta get as much money as I can get, basically. But I hate to turn that down because that's my favorite. I love tie dye shirts in this game. Not a lot of stuff looks like amazing. Like New Leaf brought a lot of innovations as far as um, better looking wallpapers, better looking clothes, better looking uh, rugs, and a lot of better aesthetics in general. But I mean the land, like every single season in New Leaf looks fantastic, and that, I mean that's still pretty true in this game, but. I don't know. The fact that it's on a GameCube, I, th I think playing New Leaf now just feel makes you feel spoiled, sort of. Because things are a lot more convenient. Like, for example, not having to go to a guy road just to say you can just press start. Um, but yeah, that wraps up everything that has to do with working with Tom Nook. I'm free now, and I am going to start making money in my own ways now, and not just doing shit for him. So, yep. Yeah. That's all for today and i'll see you guys later thanks for sticking around